Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start by saying my hat free at the garage sale. I've got this cute little button. I'm not sure if I'm like loving it. I feel like I'm a train conductor or something like that, but hey. So first garage sale of the season. I get a call from my sister's house and, and they're like, hey, the neighbor is having a garage sale. And I'm like, oh, look, I'm like, it's almost three o'clock. You know, most garage sales close at three. So I zoom over there in my car and um, they're cleaning everything up. Like all of the clothes are pretty much in bags. And I'm like, what's, you know, what's the prices? She's like, you can have it all free. And I'm like, Okay, I'll take it all, you know, I'll fill up my car, I'll fill, fill it up. And um, I was like, I'll just take it home, go through it, and what I don't want, I can donate. And she's like, you know the Goodwill is not taking stuff for a couple weeks. So I'm like, that's fine, no big deal, I'll store it for two weeks. So it turns out that they are moving in two months, or no wait, maybe it was sooner than two months. They're moving very soon and they just wanted the stuff out of there. So I'm like, Hey, I like free. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. And I tried to do a picture and like, I'm going to do this like thumbs down and thumbs up. I'm going to try to crop that out and make a thumbnail out of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the stuff in the garage, I have, hopefully as seen on the thumbnail, like five or six huge trash bags full of donate, huge. So I thought about just doing the video and showing you guys everything I got and I was like, no. So I went ahead and sorted it and then I was like, should I do this live? How should I do it? So let me know what you think about this format, but I thought I would show you guys what I got. I, I feel like I could make I don't want to say yet. Let me go through it with you guys and give you kind of an idea of what, what I think I'm going to sell stuff for. Cause I can't even remember everything. It took me two days to go through everything. When I say two days it was like a couple hours each day, not like two entire days. So this is the stuff I'm keeping. There's some stuff on my dryer that I washed. Um, but yeah, there's some good stuff, some bolos for real. And I'm going to show you the first bolo right this minute. All right. So this little guy, which I almost did not pick up. And if you look at the back, it is an Ethan Allen, okay? And there's a guy in my Facebook group and um, Leah's Bits and Pieces, my moderator, she's like, you should message so-and-so and ask him what he thinks. And I'm like, oh, good idea. So I messaged him and in my mind, I was thinking I could get about $100 for this. Um, it's got some condition issues here, but overall, you know, I didn't wipe it down or anything, but it's a really nice little piece. Shouldn't be too bad to ship. It's not huge. So I messaged the guy and he's like, I would say 80 to a hundred. And he sent me the catalog picture and he's like, put this in your listing with this like stock number. So that's awesome. You guys let me know, keep the hat or sell it. It's a nine West hat. If I sell it, I can probably get, 15 bucks out of it or do you like it and I should keep it you guys know how much I'm wearing hats right now okay so the next bolo are brand new with the tag banana republic men's size 11 and a half boots seriously free now they do have the $54.99 on them. So I'm guessing they came from like uh, maybe TJ Maxx or something like that. But they are, I believe, leather. Yep, leather. So I should do pretty well with those. Those would be a great eBay or Poshmark item. Maybe even Mercari. So I'm pretty excited ah! <laughs> about those. Next item. So I would say between the mirror and those and these, I'm already between 150 and 200 dollars because these guys bottoms clean look brand new they're speary top siders good money 
you can make good money on Spiri's. So um, it's a little dusty, but yeah, can you believe this? All right, so let's keep going. This shirt was in there, which I got excited about at first. It has an $89.99 tag. It is brand new, button front, nice shirt. I did look up comps on it. Not Nothing crazy. It's not like um, a super high-end brand. It's called Agara, E-G-A-R-A. -A. But it does have like the flip sleeves. It's a size large and it's new with tags. So, I mean, I might be able to get 25 bucks out of it. So not bad, I'm not hating, not hating. Now, I did already list this, I had to. Puzzle, and I almost did not grab this puzzle because the lid comes off and I was like, I don't wanna count pieces, I don't wanna deal with it, right? So I was like, I'll just grab it just in case I'm in the mood or something. Maybe me and my husband can put it together or something, I don't know, I just grabbed it. Would you look at that, it's brand new. <laughs> I was like, I'm getting that listed. So this had pretty good comps. It's a vintage puzzle. It's 500 pieces. So that is in my store. And I will start listing this other stuff ASAP. Now, this is a Nerf Super Soaker. And I know some of the Super Soakers do good, but this is the Thunderstorm. I don't know how to test this thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I may donate it. I might sell it. I got to do a little research. But... I got that. Now, I got this little guy. He'll be a bread and butter. He's a little lion with long legs, long dangly legs. I think he's cute. Um, some sort of advertising that says city lighting or something. But yeah, plush. If you're not selling plush, it's a great bread and butter item. And some of it can be bolo. Um, so I saw these boxes sitting there. And I honestly, I almost didn't get, grab them. And I'm like... They look kind of cool, especially this one. And I'm like, what are these? And she's like, oh, they're tequila boxes. Well, on the top it says Jose Cuervo um, 2012. So it's a collector's box that the tequila comes in. And I looked this up and the comps were very good. Um, I'm going to say I can get between $25 and $50 for this. I can't remember exactly what the comps were, so I'm gonna give you the low end and probably the high end. The other ones didn't have this. I don't know if it's kind of, I don't know if that's like gonna add value or not. So, um, I don't know how to open it. I was, I don't know if it's like a trick box or what. So anyway, I did look that one up and the comps look good and I'm like, I am so glad I looked that up. So Bolo for those. And here's the other one, I, I don't know what is in it. I didn't look this one up yet, and there's something in it. Does anybody know how to open the box? Oh, 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 it's a mystery. Oh, I bet it slides, it slides. And it has the little pamphlet in it, but this is kind of cool. So it opens like this. How cool is that? So I did not look this one up. So I don't know what comps are on this one. This one says 2013. So I've got 2012 and 2013. So I don't know. So let's say worst case, 25 bucks each. I mean, what am I close to like two, 250? Yeah, and I have all this. Okay, I am kind of in love with this. Not really in love with it, but I think it's really, really neat. And there's one listed on eBay for $50. Um, now, I don't know if you guys can see, there's like animals within the print. It's super cool. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I almost wonder if I should take it out of the print frame and just roll it. It would be a lot cheaper to ship and somebody might be more inclined to buy it. So what do you guys think? Should I take it out of the frame? Can you guys see the animals in it? It is so cool. My ring light's kind of leaving shadows. But man, it is really a neat, neat thing. She said she got it from the zoo. I did ask her. I'm like, where did that come, it's so cool. come from? It's so cool. Okay. Um, this is kind of interesting. Whoa. They're little mirrors. 
and they open like this. And then it's got like a little stand. But I got a whole bunch of those. Like a whole bunch. My mom's like, I'll take one of those. <laughs> I was sending her pictures. I'm like, okay, mom. So I could probably put those on Posh maybe. Oh, here's another one. I got some free bubble wrap. You know me, I grab bubble wrap whenever I can. Okay, now I got these. These are called Super Soakers also. They're called Bottle Shot. And I got three of those. So, I don't know. I'm going to look them up. Now, she did tell me that this is some sort of uh, monitor or something. Home security monitor. It's called, she even wrote on it, Canary Home video camera is she said it has food or something dunk on it so I do have to clean it off but um yeah so she acts like it works they just didn't use it anymore so I have to research that a little more anybody heard of it Bolo? no boo I don't know I don't know if I'll be able to test it she said it hooks up to your computer okay so I got this thing and it's brand new in the package. It's got a ticket of $19.99 on it from Bed Bath & Beyond. I looked these up on eBay. I think there was one that went for $15 with free shipping, and then I think one went for $20 with free shipping. So a nice bread and butter item. Okay, I did get this fruit. So these are peaches, and they literally have, like if I saw this, I and I didn't do this, I would think that these were real peaches. I mean, they have like the peach fuzz. It is amazing, but there's something. I don't know what's underneath there. Um, but I have three peaches, and then I have two bananas. I don't know what they're made of. Hmm, this one looks like it's broke. Maybe some sort of clay. Um, I got some tomatoes and these are, and I'm doing this for a reason. You'll see these are tomatoes and they look so real. So people that have fruit baskets like this stuff, um, the rest, like there's an apple, they're plastic. So these probably not as valuable. There's like a pepper. There's these grapes that like are squishy. It's kind of weird. And I got a pear and some apples. I don't know what this thing is. Some sort of, some, some type of fruit, another apple. I mean, they look so real, but these are plastic. So I'm gonna say the value is probably in these real fuzzy looking peaches. Isn't that amazing? So I will be selling the fruit. Okay, so I'm gonna keep working my way through this. Now, this is a bag of balls. And these are called, let me see if I can find it, Splash Bombs, Balls. And I'm going to guess there's probably between 30 and 50 in here. And they're all a little bit ah, different in designs. And they all look to be, I don't want to say new, but kind of new. They're 1994 primetime toys. So I don't know. I looked up comps. There were some that were listed, but nobody had as many as I have right here. So I am going to maybe just lock these up in groups of 10. I think I can do pretty well on these. Um, if I do 10 of them, I mean, I might be able to get 25 bucks for 10 of them. I got to look into it a little more. So, um, but they don't weigh much, so shipping shouldn't be too bad. I got one of my favorite things, an Annalie. I love Annalie dolls. I'd love to sell them. I think they're adorable, but um, there is some glue that's kind of showing, but he'll still sell. He is dated 2007, so not super old, but I would say I can probably get 15 at least out of him. I've got to look up comps. I mean, unless he's like some rare elephant, but I'm guessing around 15. Now, these are kind of interesting. 
I'm not sure if this is the box. I haven't researched it, but it says Crinkles Corner. And they're like a little, they're glass or pottery or of something. But it's like, this is Mrs. Claus. And then I have, and her hair, like the glue that's gluing her hair on, doesn't look very good. So I'm a little bummed about that. But what do you do when something's free, you know? Um, and I think it's like cute enough that I think I'll be able to sell them. I can clean them up. And there's Mr. Claus. And they're like little gift baskets. You can put stuff down in them. But they are um, ceramic or something. Some sort of pottery. So I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if this box goes with the item. I mean, they fit, but they don't fit like, I'm sure they have packaging around them. So anyway, kind of a cute set. I should be able to do okay on those. I wish that um, they were in a little better condition. This I might be able to sell. I don't know. It's like a little reindeer horns, probably for a child to wear around Christmas. I think it'd be a cute Poshmark item. Okay. I don't know about this. It just, it, it says $7.99 originally, but I'm thinking it's probably older. So I'm going to see if I can find that actually. It's got, looks like maybe it was broken and glued. I don't know what that is. Anyway, I don't know. I just, I, the reason I kind of decided not to donate it is because I like how they swing. I don't know. That may end up getting donated. I'll look it up. I got a bunch of ornaments. They're Hallmark. And I have talked about ornaments before. I love selling ornaments and I'm not going to open them all. But I am going to look at this one. So it doesn't, it does something. So it hooks up to this and then you plug it in or no wait I don't know how it works anyway it does something and I think this star lights up so maybe yeah okay the light goes in here and then you plug this into your tree lights and this little star will light up isn't that adorable so that one might do pretty well actually um it's dated 1993 so the good thing about ornaments, people collect them. And if they're discontinued or an older model, they sometimes they can be a bolo. If not, it's a great bread and butter item. I will definitely um, make money on that. Uh, let me see. Yeah, 1993. Dog's best friend. So I'll look that one up. And I have Bambi and Friends. Winnie the Pooh, which these Disney ones will typically do well. This one is missing the skunk. I didn't look in all of them, but that was the first one I pulled out. So I did look at that one. Um, oh, now these are cute. I'm sorry, but these are going to do well. I just have a feeling I could be wrong. There may be tons of them, but they're dated 1991. And um, I don't know if it actually says the date on the item. It might. But it says mom to be and dad to be and they're little kangaroos. I want to see if they're dated. I don't want this video to be like six hours long. So I'm going to try to keep moving. But I just am curious. Yeah, okay. So they say 1991 on the back. Which is kind of a bummer. Because, but it says it on the back. So it might be okay still. But if somebody had their kid in 1991 and they had this ornament and they lost it or it broke. I've sold ornaments like that before. So those are cute. Okay. Um, this one says 1993 Backyard Bunny and Nutty Eggs. So a couple more. Those look kind of like Easter ornaments. Um, this one is another Easter ornament. So again, bread and butter. But let's say I can sell each one for 10. And that's being conservative as if there's a whole bunch of them listed and there's not a lot of value. So I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I got two more in here. So nine, 10. So that would be a hundred dollars in ornaments if I got $10 each. So it is adding up. Okay. Now vintage. These are so cute. And these aren't very big, but they're uh, B-style. Is it B-style? B-style? 
I don't know how to say it, but they're little um, decorations. And it's got the, the brand right here, but these are little honeycomb. This is called a honeycomb decorations. So I've got a chick, whatever this cute little guy is. He is so cute. Is he another? Oh, he's a little bunny too. Little bunny. And then I've got um, these two bunnies. These are a little bit different, but the, these are dated 1977. So not super old, but still in pretty good condition. Um, so <clears throat> pink and blue and then another chick. So I'll probably lock these three together and lock these two together. And I have to look up comps um, because depending on um, if they're rare or hard to find, comps can really vary on things like this. So um, definitely going to look those up. Now, I've got a bunch of like little ornaments like this, which I mean, it's a little draft. A little plush draft and sometimes these things do really well um i've got these s'mores i have three of these that one's broke um so i'll probably not list that one but i have two of the same so i'll probably put these two together i'm thinking i can get at least 10 for those they had pretty good comps um so a bunch of like little miscellaneous ornaments which I'm going to say there's some that are pretty cute, like this little panda. And there's some cute stuff in here. I don't know what these little bendy guys are. They're like, um, let's see what they say. Um, can't really. I cannot read it. I'd have to get my loop out. But they bend, and I have three of those, so you can, like, hook them onto things. So they might have some value. This is so cute. It's made out of a bell. It's like little bells. Yes, and it's a little handmade thing. It's a little chick. And then here's the little matching bunny, which I'll probably sell these two together. I think they're adorable. So they're little ornaments, but they're bells. And then there's other ones in here, like this. And most of them look to be Easter. I don't know. There's this guy. He looks, it says, hurry up, rush. Um, golly, my eyes are bad. 1984. So he's not super old, but I can probably sell him. He's kind of cute. Little Santa. So that's that box. I love Christmas stuff. So I'm excited about that. Ah! Ah! And this is not all closed, just FYI. I mean, there are clothes, but it's not all clothes. I've got a hodgepodge of stuff. So this little guy, he's one sensitive hippo by Boy Boynton, and it says cool characters. So somebody just may be looking for this hippo. Isn't he cute? So I'm going to list him. And then I have this and i'm trying to figure out if this is real fur or not i fe it feels like it is it's just a handmade thing i don't even know if it has any value but i i'm gonna do a little research on it maybe somebody can use it for a craft okay i love 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 this and i'm hoping it's going to be a bolo it's not in the best condition but it is so cute so here it is. It opens like this. This is the back. So I mean, it's 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 rough. It you know it could it needs kind of fixed up a little, but everything's there. All the buttons are there, and it comes with this extra one. How cute is that? So you can like change it out. So cute. So it's a little old and a little vintage, but. I still think I can sell it. So I'm excited about that. I think that'll be decent money. These vintage suspenders, they say 1979. They are rainbow suspenders. So um, got to look them up. These were just uh, Jimbery 
infant socks. Um, the one has a helicopter, so it's boys and girls, so I can't lot them. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those at this time, but I wasn't going to, I'm going to hang on to them and figure it out. Here's another little, I think it's a hippo. It's a Webkins. It's a little Webkins. He's cute. And I have a poodle somewhere. I ran the poodle through my washing machine, but I'll sell the poodle and this together. Bread and butter, not a huge bolo, but I will make money on it. Um, okay, I think this is super cute. So this goes around your neck and then like fits around your shirt. Isn't that cute? So I am gonna try to figure out how to display that and sell it. You guys, it's Toto from the Wizard of Oz. And he's, you know, he's been well loved. I can't even find his eyes. But anyway, super cute. Bread and butter. Somebody will want it. Somebody will need it. Now these are called Have a Hank. And they are cow print. And I'll just probably sell all three of these together. I'm guessing with everybody needing masks right now, this might be a good thing to... Uh, make a mask out of or just wear as a mask. So I'm going to sell those. Here's another one. It's a bandana. This is new in the package. It retailed for eight. It's a mad scientist wig. Bread and butter. Probably put it on posh. This little thing, I don't know. It's like Shepra. It's J America. It's nice. So I'll probably list that. And you guys know how I feel about clothes. Oh gosh. But, you know, this little guy is so cute. Um, his hat's falling off. I, I don't know if there's a little, here, here's a little tush tag. Let's see what it says. It says decorative or creative concepts. It's a creative concept. So I'll have to see if I can look that up but his little bunny tail, but it's a little bunny, but isn't it cute? It's little sleepy eyes. It's like a sleep. So cute, those little suspenders. So another bread and butter. Um, this is kind of cool. It fits on a belt and it says Esprit. I remember Esprit and it goes on your belt and it opens like this and it looks to be leather. So it's like a little satchel type thing. So I don't know what I'm going to list that for, but I thought it was kind of cute. I think I can sell it. This I looked up comps on and there are some comps, but this is a little bit dirty. I think they used it as a Halloween costume, um, but I don't think it really is a Halloween costume. So I don't know. I got to figure it out, but it's got all the information in it on the inside. It's got some dirt here. I'm going to try to clean it up, get that off. It'll be a bread and butter item. This is another like little cute hat. It doesn't, I think they used it for costumes. Now it does have, it almost looks like, like I don't know, is that military? I don't know. But anyway, I think I can bread and butter that one. Um, this still has the sticker on it, so it's a new hat. It just says 2016 U.S. Senior Open, so I, maybe someone will want it. It's a cute pink hat. This is some sort of, I think I'm going to call it a belt. I think they used it for a costume, but I think it's cute. It's got the little, um, let's see, what does it say? Made in Korea Express. It's an express belt. Um, so yeah, there's that one. And this one's express also. And it's just a gold chain belt. So um, I should have wore this. It's a bear hat. <laughs> so it's a bear hat. You wear it on your head like this and you look like a bear. <laughs> Uh, they had a whole bunch of costume stuff. I can definitely sell this. I have no idea what it's worth. I have to look it up, but is that not adorable? It's a little bear hat. Um, oh. So 
So this is called a Soothe's and it's a bunny. And I don't know if it's like one of those things that you microwave, but I, it may have like, a, what's that called when they smell like lavender or something like that. It might have something like that scented. I don't know. I grabbed it. He's really heavy. Um, this is, which I think I can sell. It's pretty cool. So you wear it over and you tie it on. It's like a masquerade mask type thing, but it's lace. Here, let me do it over here and you can see it better. How cool is that? I think I have two of those and they're brand new and still in the saran wrap, or saran wrap, the plastic wrap. Now these are all noses. <laughs> We've got a rhino nose. <laughs> No, I'm not putting it on, but there's a bag of noses. They're not in great shape. Looks like there's a pig, a bird, a walrus, maybe. So I'm going to have to kind of look through those a little better. This is, I think, from the Harry Potter game. It's a trivia game box. It's just the cards. So I think that I don't know if I want to say it's probably like replacement, like a replacement thing. This is Friends, Rachel, Monica, Joey, Ross. Yeah that but it's just a Jadlyn Brooks shirt so I don't know I think um I think somebody might want it because it has the friends okay this shirt I forget the brand uh Elodie is an Elodie it's just a sweater I I thought the colors were kind of nice and it was in really great condition build -a bear with his bibs now this is a Superman patch and it looks vintage. Um, it's not really a patch. It would be a sew on. So I'm going to look into that. I may, it may do good. It may not. Another, this is a spider hat. You wear it on your head. This one is a totes hat and the, the rain like just drips off of it, I guess. So that one's kind of cute. I'm going to try to sell that. I kind of got it squished. This is a little kids. I think uh, it says engineers club member and it's a Brio hat. So I think that's vintage also. This little guy, probably a bread and butter item. It's a dragon mask. <laughs> How cute is it? The dragon mask. It's a little dirty on the back, but probably because they had like face paint or something. But it is vintage. It's from 1987. I could not find comps on it. So I'll probably just have to figure that out. This is just a Reebok shirt in really nice condition. Definitely can sell that. Um, these say um, cartoon nose. But it looks like it's just a, you know, like a clown nose. But I have... I don't know, like eight of them. And they're all new with packaging. This sweater, I'm keeping it and I think I'm gonna list it. I don't know if it's vintage, but it's a uh, uh, Christopher and Banks, but it's a Christmas sweater. And sometimes I can do okay with Christmas sweaters. So for now, I'm thinking I'm gonna list that. Oh. And then another one of those masks. I have no idea what this is. Can anybody help me? It's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Hallows? 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 Can't do a video without making, not knowing a word. Okay, so I don't know if this is some sort of magic box, but you open it and it's empty, but it's heavy and I hear something in it. And I really want to know how this works. So I may YouTube it. Anybody know? Maybe it's some special, like, hard to find item that's worth millions. That would be cool because it is Harry Potter. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep moving. We're at 34 minutes. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to try to get this done. I don't want to go more than an hour, so I'm going to go fast. Okay, these are Carhartts, and I don't. I think they're vintage, but they're a 42 short. They said they used it to paintball in. 
so I don't see like there's like a stain right here but it's a big heavy duty Carhartt so I can't I, I there's got to be some value in it I think I think I can still sell it is what I'm saying now this is funny because I was on Donatella Bodolino's auction the other night no she was on my channel for my Bolo live show and one, uh, somebody showed a dress and it said union made and it had this little symbol on it. And she pointed out that that's good. And then I found this dress, which this is a women's dress and it's definitely um, vintage. And I think, you know, the condition overall looks like there might be a little stain or dirt. Maybe it looks like it'll wash out on the back here. But yeah, it's a vintage dress. So I gotta look that up. This is a nice suit jacket. It's, um, I have the pants that match it. It's called Retro, but it's in really nice pre-owned condition. I don't, I mean, it looks nice. It may be new without tags. I don't know, it looks nice. I would put pre-owned since I don't know. This is just a chaps shirt, bread and butter thing. I hate listing stuff like that. Ugh. But now these were with the Halloween items, but I just think I might be able to sell them. So I think that they had kids and they probably use this as like a Halloween outfit, but I think they're kind of fun. They're the brand is helium and they're a size nine junior size nine. I don't think they came this way. I mean, that looks hand painted on. What do you guys think? So I'm gonna try and sell them just to see if I can. Okay, are you ready? It's a bunny cost, or no, I'm sorry. It's a, a dragon. Is it a dragon? Is it a dragon? I think it's a dragon. Isn't it cute? But it has a long tail. So basically it's a onesie, a big bodysuit. Um, so it could be a Halloween costume or something, but I gotta figure out how I'm gonna display it. And no, I'm not wearing it. I did that with another one. If you go through my store, I think it's on Poshmark. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be looking for the listing where I'm dressed up like a unicorn. Okay. This I think is just a costume. Um, I don't see a size in it, but um, it's like a little vest with the wings on the back, but I figured I could sell it. Now, this I'm kind of on the fence about because I'd like you guys' opinion. It, it's Disney and it's uh, Mickey Unlimited. And I, I don't know, it looks kind of vintage to me. It's definitely, I don't know, the tag looks vintage. And it's a onesie. <laughs> A big bodysuit. Are you ready? With feet. So um, it buttons up the front. The little buttons are Mickey Mouse. And it's a size large. It's really cute. So it, it, it seems like um, it's been worn and washed. That's my only concern. So I'll just have to say like pre-owned. I don't know. Whatever. This is another thing. I think it's Spirit Halloween, if I remember. Yeah, Spirit Halloween. So it's some sort of a robe, like costume robe, but I think I can sell that. These little Halloween gloves. Scooby-Doo hat. Bread and butter. I don't know who this is. Who's this? You guys tell me in the comments. I know somebody knows. That guy. I don't know. I feel like this might be vintage. I I just thought it was really cool and it's a little fuzzy. It's been worn, but I think I can sell it. I think it's really cute. Um, these Columbia gloves are really nice. They're I'm going to say snowboarding gloves. There's a little dirt on it. I might try to wash them. Um, I don't know. I mean, you can tell they've been worn. I have to think about those. The Grinch. 
And these, those three, the character ones seem like new. Oh, this is kind of cool. So you wear it over your head and it goes down around your neck to keep your neck warm. And I have two of those. So I'll probably maybe, I don't know if I'll sell those together or separate, but there's a camel one. This, I wonder if this goes to the, that thing, the Carhartt thing, but I could sell the hood separately if I decide not to sell the whole thing because somebody may just need a hood. Here's a tie and it's got Elmo on it. It says Sesame Street 1994. So it is vintage and I think I can sell that. Um, this is a handmade ladybug costume, but I think it's cute enough and well-made enough. It's just felt that I can sell it. So I'm going to list it. And there's the pants that go with the blazer. Really nice condition. Um, and oh, I've got one really good item I want to show you guys. I think it's a bolo. This is just like a vest, but it was, um, I don't know, it was in nice condition. So I thought I'd try and sell it. Bread and butter. One of those things I really don't want to list. This is non-slip snow grabbers. And I feel like they look vintage. The packaging looks vintage on those. So I have to look those up. But um, I think someone will buy those. Okay, I got this dress and I looked up comps and they were okay. So I don't know. I hate listing things like this, but it's like a velour dress. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this is just a chaps green sweater. I like the color. Um, I don't know. That's another one. I'm on the fence about listing. I got like 10 koozies that are just black that people can, uh, custom customize or whatever. This is an express tank top. It's got the cute little front. I think I can sell that. Uh, this is a little like jacket that goes over like cardigan and the koozies coat koozies. Is that what they're called? Are the only things left in there. Okay. Got one more bag and everything's going to start tumbling over. Okay. So this is a, uh, graduation cape. Is that what they're called? Capes graduation cape. And I have that bolo. I'm going to show you guys at the end. It's over there because I washed it. Um, this is, it says, heart full of gratitude, glass full of wine. I just thought that that was kind of like a cute little saying. And that might do well on Poshmark. Might do well on eBay too, but. Okay, I have another bunny head. And I have the whole I have the costume that goes with it. What on earth is happening? So it's a bunny head. <laughs> it's a bunny head. Yep. It's for a bunny costume. Okay. This is another one of those union made dresses. I think, I think this is it. Um, yes. It's got the union made. Okay. Yeah. This thing is like massive, but it's got the, the cute little, well, I don't know if they're cute, but bows at the top. And this thing is like full on dress. So I don't know. That might be a good one. I have to look at the, ugh, everything just fell on my floor. Um, I have to look at the condition a little better. Graduation cape in black. Um, here's the bunny costume the rest of it. So it's got the big bunny tail and then, yeah, so. And I'm guessing probably not many people went to the garage sale because, you know, it. I think they're calling it Safe Ohio instead of, instead of the stay home order, it's a safe order, stay safe. 
so they're still encouraging people to stay home. Um, and I, I have literally left my house. I took my husband to get his drop his car off to get the air conditioning worked on. And then we picked his car up and I dropped him off and he drove it home, you know, but, uh, that's the only two times I've been out. And then I drove over to my sister's one day to drop something off. And that's literally it three times in the past, like month and a half. And I, I don't mind being home. I'm pretty much a homebody. Like I work from home and, but I really do miss the thrift stores and I was looking forward to garage sale season. So when my sister called and said there was a garage sale and I was like, it's outside. I can stay within six feet. I'm like, I'm so going. This little jacket is so cute. It's green. Um, it says collection. It's um, Harvey Bernard size 14, but I think that's cute. Um, now this I'm probably going to have to wash. It's um, American Eagle, but it's a small, it's a cute little jacket, but it's in good condition. And this express men's sweater with a little hood can definitely sell that. That'll do well. Um, this is a, um, gap windbreaker, which is in really nice condition. That should do well. Um, wouldn't it be funny if the person I got all this from watched this video and was like, oh, that's all our stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So these are a pair of men's. Aeropostale jeans. So probably just a bread and butter item, but um, they might sell. This is a Aeropostale shirt, just a button front. Now I have, I'm getting down to the nitty gritty here. Here's another express sweater in great condition. So that should do decent. Okay. So I keep thinking I'm going to tell you something and then I, Joseph Abad, Abode, I don't know how you say it, but it's another really nice condition sweater. Now these pants are all, I think Gap. Yes, Gap. So I have one, two, three, four, Five. These are Dockers. So these are just Dockers pants. Um, so six, six pair of Gap dress pants. So I have to decide if I'm going to just maybe sell these as a lot because I think they're all the same size. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six of them. So I don't know, maybe I'll do three and three or two and two, but they're all in nice condition. They're gap pants. This is a, I think it's American Eagle, just an American Eagle sweater, bread and butter. These are Fila shorts, size 34. Really nice condition, bread and butter. Uh, this is an Abercrombie and Fitch button front bread and butter. And I have like, that's it. This is the last item in here, but I have what's on my, um, these are Nike pants. They're 1820. So they're a youth, but, um, yeah, I can sell those. All right. So stay tuned. Um, I, I got, I'm keeping this little hat for me. I think it's super cute. Uh, I have a whole bunch of stuff over here that I'm going to keep for myself <laughs> and my husband. But I did wash these scarves. So I think they washed up pretty good. But this one is a Paoli, P-A-O-L-I, which had decent comps. 
And this one didn't wash up very well, so I may not be selling this one now. Shocks. Yeah, I messed it up. But it was a Ver Ver Verna, Verna, I can't, V-E-R-A, Vera. And they usually do okay, so I ruined that one. Okay, all right, this is the item that I think I'm gonna do well on. It's a Sesame Street vintage women's jacket. It's kind of got, you know, it has no collar, but it is definitely Sesame Street brand vintage. Now, I washed it because it's got a little stain right up here. So it did not come out but I think I can still sell it. And I think it'll still be a nice um, bolo. But this, the um, actual buttons say Sesame Street. So yeah, what do you guys think? How much do you think I can get for that? I couldn't find any comps. Um, and I didn't look up comps on everything. I just kind of looked up a few things here and there because I wanted to be able to tell you guys something when I was going through it. Um, I do have two Snuggies. You guys know what Snuggies are? It's like a blanket that you put your arms through. And I have one that looks like clouds. And I have one that is like cheetah print or leopard or something. Animal print. We'll call it animal print. And I don't know. I might keep those. <laughs> they look really warm. Um, okay. What do you guys think? I mean, do you think I could maybe make 500? I mean, all of that bread and butter adds up. I mean, you would need 50 $10 items, right? Wait, no, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, yeah. Look at me trying to do math. 50 $10 items would equal $500. And I've got items that are worth like between 20 and 50 each. I might have $500 worth of stuff here. <gasps> Now it is going to be some work and I'm going to have to list some clothes and I feel like maybe I should make this stuff a priority. So question, if you made it this far, comment, I made it to the end of the video because I'm about done. Do you guys think I should take this out of the frame and roll it and ship it that way? I'm tempted because that frame is heavy and... I don't know if it's glass or plastic. But anyway, what do you guys think? Oh, remember, I got the Ethan Allen thing that I can get 80 to 100 out of. So right there. The puzzle is going to do good. Those two pair of shoes. Pretty good haul for free. And it made a fun video. I hope. And then I have probably 10 items for me and my husband sitting over there. I have to try them on. They're just like comfy, you know wear around the house shirts because that's where I'm at most of the time around the house. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I know this video is longer than normal. Um, keep or sell the hat. What do you guys think? I feel like I, like I said, I feel like a train conductor with it on, but it beats my roots. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Oh yeah. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Oh, and there's a link down in the description if you guys want to check out and see what I have listed. I probably don't have much listed. It depends when I post this video. So, all right, check back. I'll see you guys soon.